Hello everyone, welcome to a playthrough of Race for the Raft. This is a fairly difficult setup. Uh, it has three paws, so that should, I don't know, it should say something. It's the first time that I'm doing a three paw difficulty. It starts with zero difficulty, so one could say this is the fourth step, but it's two steps higher, and then there's even the advanced mode, which I might do a playthrough for as well. So I'm uh, playing a solo game. I will uh, explain the rules while I am playing. So let's take a look at the board. Here it is. Uh, and this is just a setup as the game tells me to set it up. I am playing alone, so I do not need the talk token, and I certainly do not need the meow token, although I do love them being implemented. Um, if you play this game co-op and your 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 colleague is is making a move and you do not agree with them, you 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 can't really interrupt them because it's their turn and you should respect that and leave it to them to make a mistake or make a, a, do something good. But if you have something to say, then once during the game, you can use the talk token and say, don't, or maybe do this. Uh, and if you have used that one, then you have one extra thing. You can meow, which means you, you, you might do meow, meaning D don't, or whatever the other p uh, person thinks that you are saying. I, I really like that way of playing co-op without actually interfering. Well, you can interfere once or maybe twice and then with a comedic effect. So that is awesome. So this is the setup for this game. Uh, the game a map is called Me First, and that refers to the purple cat that wants to be on the raft first, needs to be at the raft first, and the orange one uh, needs to be second. And then we have the two green ones. They go on opposite sides of this little fire island. So if you've never played the game, then you should know I need to create a path for the cats to move to their uh, rafts. And if I make that work, then they are safe and I can continue. But every time I place a tile on the board, I need to take one of these huge fire tokens from the fire bag. Uh, this is all prototype components. Uh, the real game might look differently, although I really love enjoying <laughs> playing with this, but I, I know these tokens, they, they are different in real life when you get the game. Uh, it is on Kickstarter now, so go check it out. And let's start the game. So the cool thing about this is you're not only working with the cards in your hand that you can place onto the board, but you get to decide what type of card you want. And the symbols on top give you an idea of what, what you might get. So this tile has a big chance of me getting green, which is awesome if I want to get the green cards here, but I actually need to do purple and orange first. So this is actually the pile that is uh, most interesting to me right now. So I'm going to take that pile. Now there might be cards in there that do not have any purple on it. There might be cards in them that have none of the orange in them. It's just, yeah, the probability of getting good cards. So I'm playing a solo game, meaning I take three cards. I do not look at them. Uh, they are in my hand. And then I have three of a draw pile. Now I can take these cards from any of the piles, but I think it's a good idea to take six cards from this pile because I'm going to get orange and purple. And that's what I need right now. So this is my draw pile. When I play a card from my hand, I get to draw from here. Three times during the game, I can uh, remove a fire token and it will lose lose me end game points and I want to I want to play this game perfectly so we'll see if I will need them or not uh, here we go uh, well look at my hands this is looking good for purple so I'm gonna need three cards minimum to make purple um, get into the um, uh, on its raft well I can make it with these three cards which is awesome the orange on these cards is, well, almost non-existent. Well, this one has some. So I will place this one here. Now, where am I going to put the fire? Because every time I place a card, I, I need to put fire. Now, I might want to put some fire here. That's, that's got to be my first spot. So I'll, I'll put this here. 
and then draw a card from the fire deck from the fire bag these are so clunky they're so huge so beautiful <laughs> this is the first one whoa it's huge okay let's let's put some fire here I cannot put fire on this tile. I could, I'm allowed to, but I know that I need to get green onto this one. Meaning, later in the game, I will need to, to cover this tile completely, so there may not be any overlap onto this tile. The new card that I drew for my own discard pile is an orange card, which is good, because that allows me to push orange forward. So, next card coming up is... Well, purple is, is really... Purple is looking good. So I could place this one here and then place that one there. That that should move purple here. Now I can start at the beginning for purple. I can start there. It doesn't really matter. But now I got to draw. Let's see what I'm going to get. Please don't make it big. It's a huge tile. They're all huge. I... <laughs> this is hard. I will do this. Still sticking to this side. One more card and I can make purple run to uh, that spot, which is really a good thing. Uh, so I'll draw from my own pile. And here I go. Um, well, let me keep orange in my hand because I'll need that later on. I place this tile here. Now, whatever I'm going to draw, I'm going to put here from fire. Uh, from fire. Ooh, this would have been good for green as well. Wait, 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 maybe I should save this one. Maybe I should save this one and maybe I should put this one here because I don't need purple anymore after this. So I'm putting this one down and drawing another fire. It's gonna go here, I, I know that. Here we go. And it is this tile. It would have been awesome here, but I can't. I could put it here. Just let it be out of the way. But I will do what I said previously. I will place it here. This is fine. Now, I can make the purple cat move. If you play on normal difficulty, which is really the base and the only thing you should play at the beginning, uh, you just need one card for it to move, and that's kind of free. I'm going to say kind of, because uh, when you... It's not free at all. You need to pay for it with a card. So I'm going to pay for it with... Uh, this one has orange, which is the next one. So, okay, I'll I'll pay with this card. It has green on it, but it's not really that good. I could have maybe... Well, doesn't matter. I'll pay for it with this card. If I have paid four of these cards, I have to get another... Draw another uh, card from the fire bag. So for now, we're good. I get movement for one cat. It's going to be this purple cat. And he's going to move all the way here. And now he's tired, but it doesn't matter because he's in. I'm going to say it's a he. He's in. And now the world opens up because now I can let this part burn. Now it cannot burn too far. Oh boy, this is hard. Uh, because I know the green cat needs to go through here as well. So maybe I start... Well, I don't have any green cards, so it doesn't matter. I have two cards left. Mm, maybe, yeah. Hmm, 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 hmm. So this card could actually bring orange quite far on its way down. Because I can use what is pre-existing on the board. So I'll, I'll place this one, get another tile, and it is this tile. Oh, that's good. This is good. I will place this one here. The purple cat has left its home, so now we can let the home burn. And I have another card that allows orange to go down even further. I don't have to worry about any of the other uh, colors because they are green and that's not on the card. So I could have chosen uh, to let orange walk, but I didn't. This is the tile I draw from the bag. I can't place it here. Oh, this is a weird one. I'll put it here. So in this game, the Tetris things that you're doing are actually bad. So you're trying to get them away, and I, I really love that. I don't have any cards left, meaning this round is over. 
and everyone who is, uh, if the cats would have moved, it would have been tired. And now they would get new energy and they would be flipped upwards. But that's not the case because this is the only one and he's already on the raft. So he's he's safe. So that's good. Uh, I need to draw six more cards. Now things get tricky because I... Re oh, no, it's not that tricky. Because there's a perfect pile for me right now. It is the green and orange pile. I need orange to move and I need the green ones to move. Um, I do see that... There's a slightly bigger chance. Let me see. Let me compare these cards. Yeah, there's a slightly bigger chance that there's green on these cards. So I'm going to take three, four cards from this pile. One, two, three in my hand. And then two more from this pile because I think more green is, is just better. Now, first things first, get this orange cat in. And do I have a tile for that? Hmm. Not really. Um, but this could be interesting because it has a lot of green on it. So if I place this here, uh, that would help. But then the next action needs to be something like this to make orange move. Okay, that's a good plan. This card is out. Let me see if there's another way of doing this because getting green up higher might help me as well. Uh, hmm. So for example, if I would put this one here, hmm. so no, I don't think so. I'll, I'll keep to my, my original plan. I'll, I'll put it here and draw a huge clunky tile from the bag. Here it is. Does this fit? It fits. Look at this. Perfect. That's that's why I like these Tetris shapes. You never know what you're going to get. But yeah. So where's my next fire tile going to be? I think it's going to be in this corner. I need I need to think ahead. So green is good if it's coming from up later on. And then I can put a fire tile here. And once I've put this fire out, once I've put this tile on the board, I know that I will be able to get, uh, to have some room on the sides here. So I will, I will place this one. <sighs> no, this will never fit. Ooh, where is the fire gonna go? Well, maybe I can put it here. Let me think. I'll do it. I'll do this. Yep. Oh, please tile, don't be too big. And, oh, it is a small one. This is perfect. Now, you can feel in the bag if it's a big or a small tile, if you would take time. But I try to just go in, grab a tile and grab it out. So I really did not know it was a small one. You could, you could house rule it, I guess. But uh, I'll just take the first one that I grab, but it feels the most natural to me. So that one is done. Now I can play a card. Now let me see what I have. I have a tile that has no green on it. So that's an easy choice. I'm going to pay with this card to make the orange cat move. And here it goes. Shoo! Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> For a second, I thought I made a mistake, but I didn't. Second cat is in. Now this is also free movement. I did pay a card for it, but uh, it's not, I don't have any four cards here. If I would have had four cards, I would have drawn, have to draw a new fire tile. So um, this is go, oh, wait, stop. This is not allowed. <laughs> I was just in time to notice. Uh, this is not allowed because there's no fire adjacent. How did this fire get here? No one knows and no one should know. So I will have to put this here, which is fine as well. I'm not allowed to put fire uh, just anywhere. So I'll, I'll put it here. It, it works just the same. Phew. So three times during the game, I can use one of these tokens to remove fire from the board. It loses me points and game points. So I don't want to do it, but for now, this is good. What do we have left? I have... Ooh, this card has no green at all. Although it comes from the probably a lot of green on the card 
pile, so that's bad. And this one barely has green. So what to do? Um, let me see if I would do this. No, that wouldn't work. Of course, I want to make good use of things that are already on the board. Well, if I go up here, I know that I can... Oh, no, I couldn't burn this, so... Well, then just make a run for it. Go as fast as we can and try to stick to the side of the board so we don't have a lot of... It is what it is. I'll place this one. And now I can burn this orange orange bit, which is good. Big tile. And here we go. I could put it here. No, I could not put it here. That would put me in trouble for that one. Uh, let me see. Oh, this works. This works nicely. Here we go. Okay. Now where to go? This isn't really looking good for green. I could move up. This works. I will move up a little bit. I could yeah, maybe to the side. Ooh, come on. Oh no, my nails are too short. Here, I'll do it here. And there we go. Take another fire tile. And we have this one. Well, this is awesome. This is why we like these shapes. So I've got one card left. There's no green on it. So what I'm going to do is I will actually let the, this green cat move ahead of time. So I will do it. I'll pay it. This one will move here and it will fall asleep on this tile and be tired. It's also the end of the round because I don't have any cards anymore. Should I still have had any cards? I could have played them and then later uh, pay two cards to have this card, uh, this cat move again. So you can say you can only move it once. That's not true. If you still have cards in your hand, you just need to pay more. So that's that's done. Uh, new round. I need green. So no. I was so certain that this pile would have more green. So I'll go for it. One, two, three in my hand and one two three as my draw pile here we go this one has no green at all so i need two cards to <clears throat> have this one move but i must also th start thinking about getting that one home as well so you know what i will play uh, because i have some room here i'll I'll play this one here, making sure it has some room. I'll draw a card and draw some fire out of the bag. Oh, this is the smallest. This is the smallest uh, tile in the bag. Here we go. This is good. So more green, which is more good. This is the way we talk here. Um, so where could I bring this one? I will, I don't know. I don't know what the sequence is I'm doing things in, but apparently I'm doing this. Drawing a fire tile. Ooh, that's big. But I think I'll be able to, as long as I leave room here to play cards, I think I should be good. And then I will place this one here making a perfect path for green to move on to the raft later on one fire tile and it's a, an awesome one i will place it here and i'll play one of the cards that doesn't have any green now i pay for it to move the green cat first i move the green cat green is home here i can burn this whole part I'm, I'm kind of safe, I hope, for this game. But I do need to resolve these four cards. They will be removed. But the price is I need to put another tile out on the board. Like I said, I can now burn this complete area. 
but I do want to do it efficiently, so I'll, I'll place it here. This is good. So what do we have? I have a weird green card, which I will use here just to move upwards a little bit. Oh, and then I have a card that has no use at all. Oh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll, I'll do this then. I'll place it here. Get a fire. Here we go. And now I'll pay this one card to move this cat here. There. He's already on its way. He is tired now, but the round is over. I'll draw new cards. Three in my hand. Three in my draw pile. I can't look at them before. And, oh boy, what's going on here? So, uh, first card I place is... Uh, well, hmm. With these cards, it's kind of hard. Uh, I'll place this one here. And a new tile from the bag, which will go here. Draw a new card with green on it. That is what I need. So I'm almost there. Ooh, this could go wrong, though. And these cards just don't have any green on it so I guess I'll do this this is not the best I could turn it around but then I might no I'll do this I have a reason uh, is there a reason I need to put a card here anyways so if there's a line of green I'm good and if not maybe I can find another way Oh, where is this long one going? I'll put it here. The raft is safe. All the cats are good. A new card. And it has green in the middle. No, no, no. <laughs> it's all kinds of wrong. So what I will do now, I will pay this card. Oh, no, I can't. The neighbors are doing some remodeling, apparently. I'll pay two cards to make this cat move again or did i move it in the last round i forgot i think i moved it in the last round doesn't matter i'll just pay two cards would that be oh boy what did i do let me see i just played this one and that one that makes six so it hasn't moved yet it should be rested there we go and i'll pay one card to move it here now I'm gonna, oh, this one was actually totally wrong. I didn't even see that. So I will do this, draw a fire tile. Ooh, I might've I might have made a mistake for myself. So now he's definitely tired. Oh, and we're good. Here we go. This is a perfect match. And that means that this tile it's going to go anywhere. It doesn't matter. Although I do love how, how it fits here. And now I'll pay two cards to make this cat move. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That is how you play Race to the Rafts. Now this is the normal version. Uh, I, will, I will stop this video now and reset it and play it again with the advanced rules. Because that is another ball game. So if you want to see how that works, then follow me to the next video. See you later. Bye, everyone. Loser, loser, well, everybody knows your game.